What's up Exploders? Today is a pretty exciting day. I'm opening up the new GoPro Hero 5. Uh, actually recently my Hero 3 had the LCD screen shut out so this works out pretty well. I was planning on getting this anyway but they kept delaying when it's going to come out. So here it is. Let's open it up, see what's inside and see how compatible it is with current mounting systems out there including my own mounts. Okay, everything's out. So you have your two mounting platforms, one rounded, one flat. Charging cable looks like they've changed the plug on here. It looks very unconventional. It's like a rounded uh, rectangle with rounded corners. And the battery, and of course the camera uh, with the, the mount and the new case. So let's take this mount off. I'm curious to see how this case works. I don't know much about it. I know it's not a full waterproof case or anything like that anymore. Pop that open. It's really tight in there where before it was um, it would just right about fall out. Now it's tough to get out. I was under the impression this front panel removes. It's like a kind of a breakaway thing, but I don't know, maybe it doesn't. I'll have to read the manual. Side opens up. That's where our, our micro HDMI goes in, as well as the charging port. It's all waterproof, so real tight. Here's where we put the battery. Might as well do that now. sticker in the back here so let's get rid of that okay I powered on the camera went through a little camera tour uh, seems very intuitive and in its use uh, I like that I like the touch screen that helps a lot versus that endless scrolling uh, to get to the right menu that I had to do on the three for some reason I was under the impression that this front screen comes off there's nothing about it in the manual kind of feels like it but I'm not about to break this camera five seconds after I opened it, so we'll have to get back to that. My concern is coming from the airsoft side, if this gets shut out, how easy it is to replace, and how durable it is in general. So let's see how it works with existing mounts and hardware out there, including cases and adapters, including my own stuff. I brought out some of the most applicable accessories here for airsoft. Um, so let's go with, with the most obvious ones that's going to fit. So here's my paintball mount and I don't see why this wouldn't work all this stuff seems to be pretty much the same all right so as expected that works I would recommend using a longer thumb screw because it's a little tough to tighten it when you get close in Next, let's see if it works with any of the half mounts. Those are very specific and I'm dying to find out. Let's see if the back door pops off the same way. Okay, good start. Maybe the slim one. Looks like it might work, but not gonna make it easy, that's for sure. Doesn't fit the slim one. Try the fat one. Okay, so those don't fit. I'm uh, gonna have to adjust them or use a case, assuming this camera fits inside the existing cases, which it probably doesn't because of this front lens thing, which I still want to remove. So let's try the big case, see if it goes in there. There's no way it's gonna fit in here. 
Nope. So unless I could get this off, this thing's not gonna fit on half these things. What it would fit on is this NVG mount, I'm assuming, but let's try it just to be sure. Take off the old camera, pop in the new camera, add back the back plate. So the NVG mount is a go. It's still just leaning against the back of the camera. Well, I'm still trying to see if I could pop this front piece up. That might give me a little bit more possible fitment. Yay, it does come off. Whew, well, that's pretty cool. Looks like it might be easy to get to the lens too. That's a nice bonus. All right, so with this off, let's see if this fits into anything. No, it's too fat. All right, so no real reason to take that off because it doesn't, it still doesn't fit any of these cases, but you know, you could get to this pretty easy. So let's put that back on because there's no real reason to remove it at this point. Kind of twist it back on there and gets under the wire. So that was a quick look at what this camera is currently compatible with. Uh, fits the paintball mask mount and the NVG mount. Those are probably the two of the most popular mounts I make, so that's good. Obviously it'll work with any existing GoPro stuff you have, anything that connects to that two prong system. And I'm gonna update the hat mount and the boonie hat mount to work with this. Stay tuned to the channel, I'm going to use this thing in the game very soon so you'll get to see it in its uh, natural environment and you can expect more mounts and more accessories for it in the future. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.